Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. The first day of school is underway for hundreds of thousands of kids throughout southeast Wisconsin. And a reminder for drivers as we start to share the road once again with buses. When a school bus stops on a two lane road to pick up or drop off, all vehicles must stop in both directions. On a multi lane road with yellow lanes, the same rules apply. Only when a bus stops on a divided highway can vehicles on the opposite direction go ahead and keep going. Drivers behind are always required to stop. More local news now. Police want to find three men who robbed an IHOP at gunpoint. Surveillance video captured the suspects demanding cash from the restaurant manager at Fond du Lac and Hope. The worker opened the safe and the men took off. Anybody with information they think can help is asked to call Milwaukee police. Business owners in West Bend are the latest victims in a We Energy scam. They're receiving calls from people posing as We Energy's employees attempting to collect utility payments. We Energy says that if you suspect you're a victim, call police and as always do not provide any credit card information. A scam warning from the Pleasant Prairie Fire and Rescue Department. Someone is calling folks in that area claiming to be raising money for the department. Now this is a scam. The department says do not give any donations and to call police instead. Tonight, Port Washington City Council is expected to vote on whether to accept a proposal to develop a marina parking lot. The $4.75 million development would include a restaurant, theater, and banquet hall called the Blues Factory. Some residents are opposed to the project, saying it would drastically change the city's landscape. You have a chance today to make Oprah's clothing part of your wardrobe. The former talk show host donated designer clothing and accessories for a charity auction, which is going on at the Pfister Hotel today. This is a look at a few of the pieces that we previewed on Wisconsin Tonight. The event runs until 7 o'clock this evening. Well, you can notice the humidity and a little bit warmer temperatures on Monday. We had a high of 80 degrees, the warmest temperature we've had in about two weeks. Eight degrees warmer than Sunday, and we'll be about eight degrees warmer this afternoon. Some spots may even hit 90 degrees. This morning's low temperatures, not all that low. Everyone except for Lake Geneva and Burlington in the 60s. It was 60 in Sheboygan, 67 in Racine, and 65 in Watertown. We had a little bit of patchy fog this morning, not as bad as it was Monday morning, and it has quickly burned off. Now the temperatures are rising. You can see that hazy sky. Sky, already 70 degrees. The wind is calm and that dew point in the upper 60s. It is getting pretty thick outside. There's some cloud cover and some sprinkles up around Bayfield, the Apostle Islands, Superior, uh, but that's about as close as the clouds and the rains get. We'll just have the hazy sunshine to deal with. As of 7 a.m., temperatures in the low to mid, even upper 60s in some spots like Milwaukee to Kenosha and out towards Whitewater already at 70 degrees. It is 66 in Greendale, 65 in Glendale, and 66 in Brown Deer. There's a little bit of patchy fog still lingering around, but it is quickly burning off with that strong sunshine and the temperatures already warming up. What also is increasing? The dew points. That southerly wind out of the Gulf of Mexico pumping that moisture level into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Pretty much tropical around here, something we haven't had to deal with now for about two to two and a half weeks. So you're going to notice it significantly. Drier air off to the west, that does not get here to break this sticky air until Sunday night and into Monday. So the dew point forecast very sticky around here, especially today and tomorrow and through Friday and into the weekend, especially uh, we'll see those high humidity levels that will help fuel some thunderstorms Sunday late in the day into the evening and lingering into Monday. So it'll be hazy sky today, high of 88. Some folks will hit 90 degrees. We'll give it an eight on the Goddard gauge. Steamy humidity as well in southwest winds at 10 to 15, so no lake breeze. That southwest wind is coming around this area of high pressure to our southeast, so perfect placement. We've been talking about it all summer when we had all those chilly days uh, back into June and early July. We had that northeasterly wind. Now the high is in the right spot for those warm, humid days for you summer lovers. One last maybe little hurrah before we start to cool back down once again. Some scattered showers late tonight into early on Wednesday for the Northwoods and we may see a few of those move into our neck of the woods late tomorrow night into Thursday morning. But once again, just a slight chance of some rain. Not cool tonight. If you don't have AC, it's going to be a tough night of sleeping with temperatures near 70 degrees and high humidity. Then for tomorrow, once again, upper 80s to around 90 degrees and just a little bit cooler at the lakefront in the afternoon as that southeast wind does develop. 88 today, hazy and humid. Uh, then for tonight, we'll see the sky be clear, but fog will develop with a low of 70 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. 87 on Wednesday, 85 Thursday. Look at all the sunshine. A little bit cooler as we get into the latter portion of the week with a southeast wind off the lake and no rain until Sunday night and Monday.